Oh, it's great, it's been a long time. Last time here, I think it was 2007, so um, I was excited to come back and see this renewed and uh, much better than the last time. And yeah, even though it's been quite windy these days, but we are having some good training and that's what we are looking for, so it's all good. Yeah, it's very different here than Galicia, where I'm from, which is really nice. I love it there, but not at this time of the year when it's cold and raining, so having good weather here, it's, it, it's good. And also it's quite windy, which makes you tough. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a good change. You know, I like to train at home, but sometimes of the year I like to go out and look for a more suitable places like, like this for this time of the year. Well, I'm looking forward to start racing again. It's, uh, last year was quite tough because I broke my elbow, missed most of the big races. So I'm excited about coming back. I'll be doing a 70.3 Ironman in, Bar in uh, Dubai um, in only a couple of weeks' time. And, uh, but the first big race will be the first uh, WTS race, ITU, in uh, Abu Dhabi in, in March. So from March to September, October pretty much goes all the season. And, yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, 70.3 Worlds, uh, it's, um, it's definitely a goal, you know. Uh, it will depend on the ITU season, how it goes, but uh, I already did it other times. Um, I was world champion in 2014, I really enjoyed that race, so I hope to have another chance uh, in 2017. It's really exciting to uh, and inspiring to see you know big athletes like Andy Reller. He's a good friend, a, a, an athlete I raced back in the day in ITU, then in 70.3, and I saw him racing in Kona a few times. Me as a spectator there, so it's pretty cool to see him here as well as other big names, big triathletes always around. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to get together to train or, or just see them training. It inspires me to you know give my best and keep working hard.